Hey guys, my name is Morgan and welcome to today's video. Today I've got a whole bunch of different things I need to do around the garden today. And the first thing I want to do is show you guys these reeds. I actually found these reeds on the side of the road and I just <laughs> pulled off and cut a few down and yeah it's absolutely amazing some free trellising these are just some normal reeds i thought it was bamboo at first but it's just some normal like weeds that grow in the, the side of the road so yeah i'm going to be using this as bamboo for my trellising so it's going to be very cool i've got to install these i've got to plant some tomatoes so it's just going to be chilling around the garden with me today so one of the many things that i need to do today is sort out some of these other reeds they still have I don't know what this is but I think it's as they grow then they kind of grow like an onion almost so they have these leaves that grow and then they grow in between that so I just need to remove a whole bunch of these and I'm going to be adding this to my compost pile along with a whole bunch of kitchen scraps There we have a beautiful reed that I'm then going to use for my tomato trellising and when I cut them down I cut it at a little bit of an angle so that when I push it into the ground it will be a little bit easier to first of all push it into the ground so yeah this stuff is extremely hard gonna last a decent amount of years and absolutely free and this way you can inspect each one and make sure you're bringing home the best of the best So this is my butternut plant and some of the reeds still had a lot of these little nodes on them. These are the pieces that were a little bit higher up and I'm going to be using the ones that are a lot more straight and a lot more clean for the tomatoes and I thought I'd use these ones that have these little nodes for the butternut because the butternut actually has some tendrils. Now I thought that a butternut was a crawling plant. I thought it would creep around on the ground and that's how it would live. But it's got these tendrils which makes me believe that it is a climbing plant which makes me think it wants to climb so I'm gonna give some of them a little trellis and we're gonna see how it goes so it's literally just three pieces of these reeds tied up at the top and I then put one little string just to keep the butternut on one of the reeds for now and hopefully eventually it will use its tendrils and then grab one by itself Right, the next thing I need to do now is work on this bed right here. I need to take out these lettuce plants, replace them with tomatoes and then get the trellising system up as well.
Now it is time for the twine and I'm going to be using the Florida weave method and I just thought I'd give you guys another explanation showing you exactly what I'm going to be doing. First thing first, you tie it off on the one end and then the weaving is basically just going in front of the one plant, then behind the next and in front of the next plant and behind the next. You keep doing that until you reach the end of the row. Now, the end of the row for me, those plants are still a little bit too small. So I just went above all of those and I will trellis those ones when they get a little bit bigger. Now on the way back, you do the opposite so each plant eventually at the end of the day is going to have twine on both sides of the plant and that's all it is you weave the one way and then you weave the opposite the way back Also, don't forget to go back and make sure that your twine is not pinching any of the leaves and that it is only holding the stem of the plant. All right, that is the end of today's video. Just some trellising, a little bit of some garden chores. I'm really pleased with the butternut trellising that I've got going on. I'm really keen to see how well that works out. Stay tuned to see if those tendrils eventually end up hooking up. We'll see how that goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, have a wonderful day and stay active in the garden.